iOS 9.3 added some cool new features to CarPlay, and GM was nice enough to loan me this sweet Chevy Volt so I can show them to you. So come on, let's go for a ride. Apple Music subscribers are going to benefit the most from these new CarPlay features because the For You and New sections of Apple Music are finally here. That's awesome and long overdue because most of the Apple Music users I know use these sections a lot, especially For You. You only get one screen of For You suggestions in CarPlay, that's not really enough and you can't refresh it like you can on the iPhone. So I like to refresh For You on my iPhone a few times before I start driving and then I save anything that looks promising to my music collection so it's there in CarPlay in the Playlist tab. The new section is great because it's not just new albums like the new releases section in Spotify. Instead, you get new albums plus new songs and new playlists from the Apple Music editors and featured curators. But as always, the real selling point of Apple Music in the car is Siri. I typically use Spotify, but its CarPlay app is just sad compared to Apple Music's have to do everything myself and all that tapping is really distracting when I'm trying to drive. Asking Siri to play me an album or a playlist is so much more fun. And if I hear a song that really rocks, I can say, play more like this. Start a genius playlist and keep the vibe rolling. Entertainment's only half the story when it comes to CarPlay. It's really good at navigation too. The new feature is Nearby, which was added to Maps in iOS 9. To use Nearby, you start a new search and it offers you bubbles for different categories like gas, parking, restaurants, and coffee. And you'll see suggestions that are nearby and rated really well on Yelp. All you have to do is tap one for directions and you're off. Nearby is super useful in the car, but Maps could still get a little bit smarter. Where is the nearest gas station? When I ask Siri to find me gas or coffee, some of the time she'll find me something right on my route but other times she wants me to turn around and head back to something I already passed. No thanks. Now if these new features sound a little familiar, that's because they've been in iOS for months. Nearby was added to Maps in iOS 9, and those two Apple Music features launched with the service back in iOS 8.4. So if you can't afford a brand new car or a fancy CarPlay stereo yet, don't sweat it too much. You can get a cheap stereo that hooks in your iPhone with USB. Then mount your phone on the dash and yell, hey Siri, at it when you need directions or music controls. It's not quite as luxe as the CarPlay experience, but my car isn't quite as luxe as the Chevy Volt.